Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video. Now in this video, I would like to explain why you need a web hosting. Now you have purchased your domain and somebody asked you, hey, you need to buy a web hosting as well. So your client might be asking or you might be asking why you need a web hosting. Now in this video, I'll explain you and walk you through why I have actually created this video and why you need a web hosting. So let's get started here. Now I do take a lot of web projects. Now why? Because it's really fun. It's about creativity. Whenever you do a web project, it's about increasing your creativity. And of course I do it for money as well. Of course, everybody has to pay the bills. Now web project for me is really fun because I can just take the project and can design a web based application, maybe some backend or just a plain old website on an airport and can earn like 200 or 300 dollars on the go. Now this is really fun and exciting because it gives me creativity freedom as well as I can earn some money on the go that can pay my bills. Now okay, now I have got into this situation quite a number of times. Now in the previous days also and recently I got a client who was saying, hey, I have bought a domain, why I need to buy a web hosting. Now this video is going to refer this answer and even if you are a web developer, refer to this video a number of times to your clients and even I'm going to use it quite a number of times with my future clients. So let me explain you all this stuff and why you need a web hosting as well. Now with the recent advancement in the advertisement by the, especially by the GoDaddy, you might have seen the GoDaddy saying that, hey, you can just cheaply get a domain name and can start your website. Yes, that's completely true, but let me explain you with another concept. Let's just say you want to start an office for your company. What do you know? What you do in that? You first decide the name of your company that you are going to set an office. Then you get a board for your office. Okay, this is going to be my name and this is going to be my board. But wait a minute, you have just missed a key point. Where is your going to be office where you can put that board? So similarly, when you buy a domain name, you actually are getting a company name. Now you need to put that board somewhere. That's exactly what is hosting about. You need some space where you can actually put your files. So your website might be designed in PHP, ASP, Node.js, plain HTML, simple CSS, but we need to put that file somewhere. For that, web hosting is required. So you need to purchase web hosting as well with your domain name. And once you have got the domain name, that means your name is fixed. Once you have got your hosting as well, now you can put your domain name and hosting together. But wait a minute, there is one more criteria there. That is known as domain name system or DNS. Some call it domain name server, domain name system, but you don't need to get technicality of that. It's somewhat geeky stuff, but what it's saying, hey, these two needs to be linked and need to be associated. Now, usually with the recent advancement of the technology and server, it doesn't take much time. In the previous days, it used to take 24 hours to link your DNS with your name and your hosting. Now, it's just a matter of within three or maximum five hours that you can connect these things. Now, your developer is going to do all the stuff, but again, you have to give him like something like FTP or the cPanel, whatever he's asking for, he may give a good uh, reason for that. But again, really, it's my advice to all of you. Whenever you buy a domain name, buy a hosting as well. It's going to improve your process of giving your project to some designer. I'm going to keep this video always with me and I'll be referring it to all of my clients whenever I need to say them, hey, you need to buy a hosting. In case you are a developer, make sure that you check out this video and you can refer this video to your clients as well. This is going to be a great example here. Now with this, I'll catch you up in the next video.